Russia is revoking its ratification of a global nuclear test ban. President Vladimir Putin signed the bill into law on Thursday, abandoning the landmark agreement. The treaty, which was adopted in 1996, banned all nuclear explosions, including tests of nuclear weapons. Well, for more on this now, Al Jazeera's Moscow bureau correspondent Yulia Shapovalova joins us on set. Good to have you here in the studio in Doha for a change. So, Yulia, why is Russia withdrawing from this treaty? Well, Russia explains that um, there is a situation now when it needs to act in its national interests and interests interests of its people. So uh, we're also hearing from uh, chairman of uh, the Russian State Duma, which is uh, um, Russia's lower house of parliament, uh, Vyacheslav Volodin, as uh, saying that uh, now it, uh, the, the country, uh, it was a mirror response to the actions of the United States, uh, which had not ratified this document for 23 years. And the decision was made solely in the interest of uh, Russia and uh, the Russian people. And, you uh, said the interests of the people. What, what, are they being explicit in what interest they feel is being compromised? Well, they're not explaining that really, but we understand that, uh, as you mentioned, Russia actually uh, signed and immediately ratified the treaty back in 1996. And uh, interesting that um, countries like the United States, China and Israel, they did sign it back in 1996, but uh, ever since have never ratified it. And countries like North Korea, uh, Pakistan and India, they neither signed it nor ratified it. So basically, uh, we first heard about Russia's desire to do so from President Vladimir Putin at a meeting of uh, Valdai um, uh, Club, the, the, the meeting of the Valdai Discussion Club back in October. So basically, that was the time when he announced that uh, the nuclear test ban treaty uh, would be, um, may actually uh, take place. So basically, that was quite alarming for many. And this is not the first incident we had of withdrawals, is it? I was looking back uh, a few years ago. The United States withdrew from the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty. It's the whole movement that the world was in a few decades ago towards signing agreements to get rid of nuclear weapons. Is that all unravelling now? Well, absolutely. So, as we understand, the world depends... Well, among other things, the world depends on a number of treaties, like... Uh, the uh, non-proliferation of nuclear weapons treaty, the reduction of uh, strategic offensive weapons treaty and others. And basically over the years, uh, we've seen how countries have been abandoning and withdrawing from those treaties, making the world a less safe place. And uh, right now we see that how, you know, uh, contradictions between uh, world powers and uh, nuclear countries and non-nuclear countries, they're trying to um, decide uh, regarding nuclear disarmament uh, process. And, all, I mean, all those issues are becoming extremely acute. But obviously, it is a very dangerous sign to see how the idea of peace and stability in the world is shrinking. And on that point, Yulia, what's the bottom line here? What does this mean for the proliferation of nuclear weapons and how safe the world is? Well, basically, we're starting getting some international reactions on that. Uh, but uh, some specialists say that... Uh, um, other countries may go ahead and start conducting underground tests under, after Russia. But uh, having said that, uh, we hear from a number of Russian officials uh, saying that despite Russia's decision uh, to cancel the nuclear test ban treaty ratification, the country will continue to fulfil its obligations under the treaty as well as to observe a moratorium on uh, the nuclear tests, and according to the Russian, um, uh, according to the Russian Foreign Ministry as well, Russia will only agree to go ahead and conduct nuclear tests only if the U.S. basically takes such a step first, which is also quite worrying. All right, good to have you on set. Thanks so much, Yulia Shapovalova.